Just on your shoulders, do you really feel like Congress can do much? It's, there's so many, we, we hear about so many things, the reopening uh, after the pandemic and the invasion of, of Ukraine. It seems like, uh, you know, to take it upon yourself in Congress, I, I, I wouldn't feel too badly if you don't come up with any panaceas. Well, good morning. It's good to be with you. And these are certainly challenging times for everyday Americans. And we feel like we do have the responsibility uh, to address the challenges that uh, the American people are confronting, particularly as it relates to kitchen table pocketbook issues. And we're going to continue to try to do everything possible to lower costs for everyday Americans. Now, clearly, there's fiscal policy and then there's monetary policy. Uh, and we can only operate in the realm of fiscal policy. And I think that President Biden uh, has continued to lead in a way that has brought about a strong economic recovery from the standpoint of low unemployment, incre increased wages, uh, and significant job growth. I believe 9 million jobs have been created under the presidency of Joe Biden. That's a record uh, in American history. But issues remain, uh, certainly as it relates to increased costs. Uh, and that is top of mind for all of us. The, I guess in terms of monetary policy, I would only say that I guess, and we can't help ourselves sometimes, whether it's the executive branch or, or Congress or whatever, to try to say, go easy. But that, I haven't seen that, really. It's almost as if uh, the government realizes that we, we have a problem and, and the Fed has to do what it has to do independently. But on the fiscal side, I'm, you, you know, you are, I think, fourth in charge or in charge of the caucus. You can make decisions. Do you think it's a good idea to keep pushing for more spending in terms of uh, some type of uh, Build Back Better 2.0 uh, at this point? And, and do, you, do you think that some of the inflation that we're seeing was because we overdid it last year? No, I think the inflation that we're seeing is a direct result of the fact that we had a once in a century uh, pandemic. It resulted in the economy shutting down. Demand came roaring back as the economy was reopened. Uh, and that's a good thing in terms of Americans being uh, able to get back to work. Uh, however, the supply wasn't able to keep up with that increased demand. One of the things that we're working on right now in Congress uh, is to make sure that we can come to an agreement around the America Competes Act, the effort uh, to increase the domestic production for semiconductors uh, and to do it in a way that will allow America to be more competitive, uh, to create good paying, uh, high tech manufacturing jobs here in the country. Uh, and ease the supply chain issues. And so I think there are areas for us to find common ground uh, with the Senate and the other side of the aisle in terms of uh, Build Back Better 2.0 or whatever the legislation is ultimately called. Uh, my perspective is that focusing on lowering costs, lowering child care costs, lowering housing costs, uh, lowering the high cost of life-saving prescription drugs would be the sweet spot yeah. to focus on on behalf of the American people. Um, I want to talk energy just a little bit, and I'll approach it from this way, uh, Congressman. One of your, uh, one of your members of your caucus and a friend of mine, and, and uh, you know we disagree on a lot, but Ro Khanna, I, I don't know whether I'd say he really broke ranks, but he's at least acknowledging that maybe our d domestic energy policy uh, could use some uh, some tweaking. I won't ask you about domestically because I can't get any Democrats really to to really cop to that, that maybe there's, there's a, an issue with how quickly we're transitioning. But do you think Europe screwed that up? I mean, there may be rationing in Europe. Would you at least concede that Germany uh, probably shouldn't have, have thrown their entire future into, into you know, where, where Vladimir Putin controls so much of their lives in terms of energy, and maybe the, the transition to the green renewable, like, you know, that obviously that's something down the road that people want. But did they rush that, would you say? Or, or you wouldn't even say that, that Europe screwed that up? Yeah, I think that what happened is that we uh, have had the most significant global conflict uh, to hit Europe and the rest of the world since World War II in terms of Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. And obviously, the fact that uh, Russia and Germany are so intimately tied together in terms of uh, energy supply has created a lot of complications geopolitically and from an energy standpoint in terms of Germany. I do think that we have a climate crisis that is serious and we need meaningful climate solutions. 
And that's going to involve a transition uh, into a clean energy economy. It will also allow us right. to create some good paying energy jobs. Uh, but it should be done uh, in a thoughtful way, uh, given the realities that we confront in the world today. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.